Simpler to more difficult, where the two-syllable words are the more difficult. And I have faith that you guys can do a pretty good job with this. So what I've done was I've underlined the portions of a word. What's another uh, word to define the portion of a word? Syllable. Syllable's one. Nice job. There's another one. Uh, it's kind of a, a big person teacher word. It's called a phoneme. So there are phonemes to each and every word. And in this case, we have AMP, which is a phoneme. Camp, camp scamp, stamp. Uh, you can change the word from the beginning. Lamp. Word now, when, yeah. I just, I just said stamp, camp, and ramp. ramp. Let's say uh, handicap access ramp. ramp. Did you say clamp? No. Smart. Uh, that's a I good one. Clamp. But clamp works good. You know why clamp works? Because it has the same phoneme. And it rhymes with Lamp. Can you read that? Is anybody having trouble? Raise your hand if you're having tr troubles in reading any of these words. Okay. I know it was All right. Okay, good. All right, so basically what I want you to do is we're going to go from one column to the next, and we're going to try to come up with one or more rhyming words. So um, in front of you, uh, you'll see a chart. It's basically a chart with the same words up here, but I am going to apologize to you, class, because there wasn't enough space on the board, so I left off. Um, I left off one of my words, which was basket. Um, so we have eight. Do we have eight up there? We have seven. So we've got seven of nine columns. So anyway, um, what I'm going to do now is. Um, oh, you didn't get a, a sheet. Um, is there an extra sheet here? I'll, I'll find an extra one. Thank you. You can stay seated. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, does everybody have the chart in front of them? Mm -hmm. 
want you to get your pencils out too, sharpened pencils or pens, because um, you're going to be filling in some information on that chart. But what I'm first going to do, class, is um, I'm going to show you a word, and then uh, after I show you the word, I want you to read the word I show you, and I'm going to ask for one volunteer to come up and do one of two things, either A, uh, point to the column where the word belongs, the word on the flashcard belongs, or B, write the word on the flashcard in the column that it belongs on, um, under. Does that make sense? Yeah. Is that? Okay, thank you. All right. Very much. Okay, so here's the first flashcard. Everybody, all eyes up. Jackie, I saw your hand up. Um, would you kindly come up to the front of the class and either point to the word with the phoneme that matches or take a marker and write this word under one of these keywords. Please. Good job. Good job. So you want to write camp up there? And I'm not going to penalize anyone or criticize anyone if your writing's not beautiful. Just do your best job getting the word written underneath there. Nice. Nice. Thank you. Round of applause for Jackie. Okay, cool. Okay, class. Ready for your next word? I'm going to start over here and go the other way. This is a word that is kind of sad. But I knew can anybody, uh, extra credit, can anybody think of a sandwich? No, oh, this is an old one. They used to call Subway sandwiches poor boys, but that's when I was your age. I don't think anybody knows about that. All right, do you see this word? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Young man there with a fancy striped shirt, why don't you come on up and either point to the column where we have a rhyming word or uh, do as Jackie did, take a marker and, and write it under the proper column. Nice, nice. What's your name? Gonzalo. Can I call you Gonzo for short? No? Okay. Uh, nice job. Go ahead and uh, write this word up there underneath the right uh, column. I'm going to feel the feeling this is kind of easy for you guys. It's spelled, well, how do you spell it? Okay. Uh, in unison, when, let's all say the, the sound that goes with the letters O O R. Or, or, right? Like, oh, you, oh, 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 it's kind of, well, or would be just O, the letter O and the letter R. Nice job, Gonzalo. Nice job. No, we've done that. We can maybe do that at the end if there's extra time. Um, okay, next word. Ready? Hands down. You're not ready to guess yet, or you're not ready to volunteer yet. Okay, here we go. You can say it, you can say it. All together. One, two, three. Uh, what's one thing you do that makes life better? Uh, give hugs, right? Give and receive hugs. Okay. Um, my friend, I forgot your name. Why don't you come on up and, uh, and write Esmeralda. Okay. Why don't you come on and, and write it or point to the, point to the keyword that uh, this rhyme, that this rhymes with. What word is up there in purple that this rhyme, that the word hug rhymes with? Okay, nice job. Nice job. You don't have to write it. Yeah, thank you, Esmeralda. Round of applause for Esmeralda. I see a pattern. It's going by the order, but it's going by the letter. Okay, thank you. Okay, next word. Ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Ready? Okay, that's, uh, that's good knowledge. Okay, you guys ready for the next flashcard? Yeah. Okay, this is a two-syllable word, and you guys are all familiar with it. Are these cards uh, readable to the back row? Are they? You know, I can come forward. Can you read that? Can you say it? Nice. Can you read that and say it? Excellent. How about you? Can you read that and say it? Okay, everybody has no problem with the word winner. Since you uh, said it so well, how about if you come on up and point to the column that has the rhyming word on the dry erase board, please. What's your name? Damien. Damien. Nice to meet you, Damien. Excellent. Did he get it right? Yeah. I just kind of gave it away, didn't I? Nice job. Would you write? Would you write winner below that? Is that keyword?
Okay. How many syllables does this word have? Nice job, nice Three, job, Damien. One, 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 one. Oh, you know what? We forgot to applause for Damien. Way to go, way to go. Okay, um, how many syllables does this word have? One. one. Okay, let's, on the count of three, let's all say it together. One, two, three. One. one. Demonstrate blinking for me. Blink. Blink. Nice. Blink. You know, you know why it's good to blink? Because you got uh, you bring uh, more uh, moisture uh, over your eyeballs and it keeps your eyes from being dry. So, okay. So, um, what's what's the word again? Blink. All right, uh, young man. Tell me your name, please. Fernando. Fernando, why don't you go ahead and take a marker and write the word blink under what you think is the rhyming word up here in purple. Excellent. Excellent. You want to write it too? Well, class, you guys are doing pretty good so far. I'm pretty impressed. And you guys have been studying hard this year, huh? You've been working pretty, pretty good with Mrs. Lennon, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. That's all right. Nobody expects perfection. It's not a perfect world. All right, so how am I doing on time? Fifteen. Alright. Okay, um, what I want to do now, class, is one column at a time. I want you to get your pens and the pencils out and look at your chart and think of one or more rhyming words for lamp. And I'm gonna I'm gonna count off a minute. And you guys are getting graded on this, and I'm gonna collect these when we're all done and the objective is to get as many words, rhyming words, as you can think of under each keyword, all right? But right now I want to focus on um, the word lamp and uh, what possible one-syllable rhyming words that have the same phoneme that uh, go with that, okay? No talking. No talking. Everybody focus on your individual paper. No copying. Okay. Are you working or are you chatting? Thank you. Is it better to be working or chatting? Working. Thank you. Twenty more seconds, kids, and then we're going to switch over to column two. That's a nice try. We're not there yet. Does everybody have at least two words under the column one for lamp? Okay, just do the best you can. All right, all right. Now we're going to column two. Okay, class. Now I want you to think of words that rhyme with door. Okay, well, we've already come up with one, so you can certainly write four underneath door, and then you get credit for that. But I want you to think a little farther, a little harder, and come up with other words that have O O R in it. And it's all something that all of us are standing on. I'll give you a clue. Oh. Did you have a particular question? Huh? Not that many. You know what, class? I'm going to just say that uh, not all of these words have many other words that rhyme with them. For example, door doesn't have that many words that rhyme with it uh, that I know of. Um, I think Mrs. Hudnall has a, a rhyming dictionary, and I probably should have used that um, in preparing this lesson, but I didn't. So anyway, just bear with me, and thank you for dealing with uh, a choice of words that isn't necessarily the greatest. OK, so does everybody have at least at least two words underneath uh, the yeah. door column? Mm -hmm. What does what mean? 
It does. Uh, I'm not sure that's a word that is safe to talk about. Honestly. It's okay to ask, but I don't think it's good to talk about that. Okay, class, we're moving on to column three. What's the word at the top of column three? Rhyme. Okay, what other rhyming word uh, did we mention that goes with it? I'm, I'm demonstrating what we do. Okay, try to come up with at least three um, for rug. Rug. You know what, class? Oh my God. This is an assignment that probably needs an hour to an hour and a half. Um, you know, but we're just going to do the best we can. Um, does everybody have at least two words that rhyme with rug? It's, if you don't have two, it's okay. Let's move on to chair. All right. Let's uh, focus uh, class on on, uh, on chair. Column four, chair. And that has the phoneme. Can anybody, for extra credit, can anybody identify the phoneme in chair? Go ahead, my young friend. Mayor. Air. Air. It's A I R is the phoneme. Yeah. You now English is crazy because there are words that end in A R E that rhyme with A I R. Like stare, like you like stare. I stare. Does stare rhyme with chair? Does it rhyme the the, the the word stare rhyme with chair? It does, doesn't it? Okay. But we're focusing on words that have the exact phoneme, the A I R. So try to come up with um hey, we never even did that. Um I want to volunteer. Who can who can name a one word that rhymes with chair? Jackie. Huh? Hair. Hair. Good. Bear. I don't have. Does your teacher? Does Mr. V have a lot of hair? No. He used to. Clear. Chocolate eclair. Does, does the is it is anybody familiar with the word chocolate eclair? It, eclair is a pastry, right? It has the same phoneme as A I R, I think. Okay. Does everybody have at least one word for that rhymes with chair? Yes. Why are your hands up? Maybe I asked you to come up. Anyway. Um, I'm going to come over and just check, check and see how you guys are doing. All right, everybody's tried chair, haven't they? It rhymes with, but it's a different spelling, so that's one of the tricky parts of English language. Um, how are you doing over here? Good. 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 Hey, class. Um, let's do... Uh, you guys want to try a hard one? No. Yes. Please say yes. Please say yes. No. Let's try. It. Let's try. It. Wait, all eyes on me. Off your paper. Let's try a hard one. Um, say this word out loud, please. And appliance. One more time. And appliance. Okay. Now, where do you commonly find appliances? At work. At work and at home, right? Like a. Let's give an example of the word appliance. Cleaner. Vacuum cleaner. A yes. Washer Dishwasher. Refrigerator. Microwave. Those are all appliances. So, anyway, um, there are not that many words that rhyme with appliance. In fact, I could only come up with three. But anyway, who would like to who would like to volunteer to write a word um, on the board that uh, rhymes with appliance? Okay, I only see one hand up. Why don't you come on up? <laughs> You got a word? Tell me what the word is. Say that again. Go, go ahead. Write it up there. Can you, you feel confident about how to spell it? Um, 
does does the does this uh, fully rhyme with appliance? No. It doesn't, does it? But you know what he what he deserves credit for is he has the phoneme. The phoneme is A I N C E. So nice job. Um, anyway, do your best class to put at least one word that rhymes with appliance. Um, can I give you guys one word? Well, that's, that's not teaching you. That's not teaching you. Well, science, the word science rhymes with the phoneme. Um, this is kind of a tough one. This is kind of a tough one. Uh, I came up with one. Have you guys ever heard this word, compliance? Have you? Uh, it's got a prefix. The prefix is C-O-M. And what does C-O-M mean? Um, like either means it's short for communication or it means with. No. It sounds like two words. Right, what's your question? Do you? Okay, go ahead. Violence? You know what? That's a pretty good try. That's, that's a pretty good try. Um, what's your name? Marlin, uh, class Marlin offered up the word violence to come up with a, as a potential rhyme for appliance. Now it's it's close. I'm saying Marlin did pretty good, uh, but it's not it's spelled differently, but it does sound the same. So anyway, there's lots of words, lots of words in English that sound the same, but are spelled different. Okay, class. Um, Let's uh, take two more minutes maximum and do your best to come up with as many rhyming words as you can and write them down under the appropriate column on your chart. And I am going to thank you very much for thinking and trying. And uh, I'll be grading your sheets and leaving them with Ms. Hudnall. And she can distribute them um, to you when she feels this is the right time, OK? So. Um, I'm giving you all a round of applause. Good job. Nice job. Thank you for your attention. Keep on learning your words. Um, the, the last thing I'll say is the point of this exercise was to think of words that are familiar to you, like chair, rug, door, lamp. Uh, part, the point of the lesson was to think of words that are familiar, that once you learn those familiar, familiar patterns, uh, familiar patterns of phonemes, you can then learn more words and more larger words. So, anyway, class, thank you very much for your time. And um, in one minute, I'm going to go around, or let's see, this side of the class, could you pass your, when you've done your best, could you pass, pass your paper to your left? And then this side of the class, when you're, when you're done, uh, with your sheet, pass it to